When I was in grad school, I'll read this poem. It was back, this poem's probably from like 1992, 93. I was obsessed with this girl who I found out was from Pakistan. I just would, I was at George Mason and I had this crush on her and I tried to ask her out. And then she was like, you know, my friend said she was Muslim. I didn't know what that meant. And she wasn't, you know, she had an arranged marriage. And uh, I was like an alcoholic or whatever. So we weren't going to be a very good pair. <laughs> But we did talk sometimes. We did have this connection that was not just in my mind. <laughs> so this, I wrote, this is a love poem that I wrote that, that sort of appropriates some of the war terminology and some of the stereotypes um, that were flying around back then in the first Gulf War. Um, it's called Our Shadows Dance in Riot Gear. She appears like adrenaline the wind hums our Byzantine chant. She glances and all the churches collapse, dazzling my bonfire into being. A holy war rages in the throat of her father, where I am the equivalent of pork. <laughs> An arrow dipped in her skull's curry whizzes by me. The exploding plane of marriage is being arranged. Her terrorist burgundy lipstick ignites, a rib of dynamite in my mouth's bone fence. Her fingers will never dig into me like quotation marks, blazing my limbs into parts of speech. Orangish rumors streak through the junipers. Our shadows dance in riot gear. Paralyzed from the thoughts down, I can still wiggle my fantasies. Her lips are as thick as the skull of a priest. The sky's one cloud faints. Our moment expires and two workers drag it away on a stretcher. Let this sentence be the arm I can't wrap around her as she runs up my phone bill with collect calls from the unconscious. Somewhere a tidal wave holds still for us. Sunday is a place that isn't open on Sundays, where I rearrange the stars until she believes me. Even this page will have to be burned. <laughs>